Greetings, it's Maxo Diddley here, and today I am here with a quick C sharp tutorial to help you get an A in your coursework or exam. And today we're here with calculating the difference between two dates. So basically, we've got two dates. Let's say the 1st of December 2022 and the 2nd of December 2022, and there's a one day difference, and we're going to have a program where we can put in two dates and get the difference in days between them. Let's get into it. First thing we need to do is we need to create two date time objects. These are going to be used for our subtraction. And so what we do is we do date time start date equals new date time and then we're going to put in our date and we do the same for this other one. And if you want to use a different format, I'll have a link down in the description so you can read the documentation for the date time constructor. You could try passing the date in with a specific format as well, but I'm going to stick to doing it this way. And so we're going to be doing year, month, and then day. And so we got the 1st of um, December and the 31st. What you then need to do is you need to make a time span object. And we can do time span, and we're going to call it duration, equals end date minus start date. So this object just stores a time span. And what we can do is we can do end date minus start date to assign a time span to our time span object. And this is going to be the gap between the two days we want to know the gap between. And then what we can do is we can do double days equals duration dot total days. So we're getting the total amount of days gap that's stored in the time span object which is going to be equal to the amount of days between the two dates we want to get the number of days between from. After that, we do console.writeLine days and console.reads to stop the program from closing. So let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, it says 30 because there are 30 days between them. Now let's change that to two and then hit play. And it's one. So what if we do 2021? And look, it's 366. So thanks for being a great audience. Be sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed and subscribe for more C-Sharp tutorials.